You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, April 26th, 2023. This week, we are hearing a really cool story from our spiritual director, Father Kyle Kowalsik, on Tommy's experience at Mass, and in particular, his discovery of the priesthood. Before we hear the next installment of the story, can you please join me in praying the concluding prayer to the Divine Mercy Chaplet? In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. And so here is the next part of Tommy's story at Mass. Then the superhero went to the corner of the ring and in a sing-song battle chant, waved his right hand over himself. It must have been some sort of shield, a force field to protect himself. Then he turned towards the spectators and opened his once folded hands from over his heart and addressed the people. Tommy felt a surge of power. Wait a minute. They weren't spectators. They were participants. If he would have known that, he would have worn his own cape. Instinctively, Tommy returned the incantation. Was it just him? Or did the superhero seem to grow larger, like power was returning to him? He uttered another battle cry with his arms spread apart in what must have been his fighting stance. And then he collapsed into his seat. He must have been exhausted. End of round one, Tommy thought. Everything was momentarily still. What was that red book the knight had read from? A book of spells, Tommy thought. Whatever enchantment he had just spoken seemed to take a lot out of him. He was now sitting in his seat with his eyes closed. Was he asleep? Dead? No, he couldn't be dead. He was still breathing. He was definitely tired, though. So was everyone else. They all sat down. Suddenly, Tommy heard another voice. It was from some man standing on the other side of the arena. He seemed to be telling a story of some sort. Tommy didn't know who or what it was about, but he felt strangely encouraged and energized. The word of the Lord, the man finished. Those were God's words? No wonder Tommy had felt so energized. He knew he wasn't alone because moments later, the whole stadium, was that what this place was called, was singing. The energy of God's word was literally pulsating through the whole building. When it ended, someone else got up and read more of God's words. There was some sort of instruction and encouragement, a letter of some sort to someone named Corinthian. What a funny name, Tommy thought. They proved to be quite powerful words. Because once again, the whole of the people stood up and started chanting a jubilant war song. At this point, the ninja's sidekick, presumably, because he was dressed very similarly to the first ninja, was escorted by flaming torches and that smoke mace thingy to the great table thingy, where he bowed and then took out another book and held it up high in the air. What were the torches for, Tommy wondered. It wasn't dark, so they didn't need them for light. Maybe they were weapons of some sort, like flaming swords to keep safe the ninja with his book. The sidekick swung the smoking mace around the book. Whatever he was going to read, it was going to be way more important than the previous readings, that was for sure. Tommy prepared himself for something awesome. This reading was about someone called Jesus who had the power to heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out demons. That was it. Suddenly everything made sense to Tommy. This is why they were here, to do battle, 
with demons, invisible ones. The superhero dressed in his fantastic robes then must have some special powers from God, just like the ones Jesus had. How thrilling! Tommy looked around the room. No one else seemed to think it was quite so thrilling. What was wrong with them? How could they not get it? They looked bored. How could they be bored? Admittedly, the Ninja Warrior night was going on about something that Tommy couldn't quite follow. Maybe these people didn't realize that they were in an epic battle with invisible demons. But then why were they here at all? A moment later, everyone was standing again and saying the things that they believed in or something. It was like a secret password to be part of this secret club. And there it was. They said it. All the people said it. That they believed in the visible and the invisible. <laughs> Golly, they sure didn't act like it. Tommy didn't know all the words to the secret password, though he knew he believed in all of it, especially the invisible stuff. He thought for sure someone would escort him out of the secret club, but no one did. After saying some more prayers, they were all sitting again, and someone came around with a basket, and everyone threw their money into it. Club dues, maybe. It made sense. Tommy reached in his pocket and found a dollar bill his dad had given him. He threw it into the basket. He was in the club. I hope you're enjoying this story of Tommy at Mass. Come back tomorrow for the next part. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. I really hope you enjoyed the story of Tommy, written and read by our spiritual director, Father Kyle Kowalsik. If you want to hear more from Father Kyle Kowalsik, he has his own podcast called Ever Ancient, Ever New, found on most podcast platforms, or you can simply check the notes for this podcast episode and find the direct link. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.